So here's a game I saw recently. Um, this is Netzer versus uh, Guznik. Um, I'm not sure who either of those people are, but uh, this is an example of a mating pattern called the Greek Gift. So I'm going to quickly just go through the opening. It's a Sicilian, I, I believe this is the Alpine variation of the Sicilian. And um, so let's just get skip to the interesting part. Okay, I thought this was interesting that uh, I made a little space for his bishop there. Takes, takes, check, blocks the check. And um, here we will see the, uh, well, after castles. So now here, here's the Greek gift. So the Greek gift is works with a combination of a couple pieces. Um, this pawn here on c2, or this bishop here on c2, excuse me, eyeing uh, this uh, pawn on h7, the knight here on f3, which is eyeing the spot g5, queen, which is eyeing h5, and also potentially the pawn and the rook uh, can come into it. So let's see how this plays out. So. The Greek, gift, the Greek gift is a sacrifice. Greek gift, yeah. Um, so here we see the sacrifice with bishop takes h7 check. And the king doesn't really have so many options. Uh, he could move over to the side, but then the, the bishop uh, could just come back down and uh, it would, you know, it would definitely be a heavy blow into black's defenses. So the king takes... And the knight comes up for check. The knight is uh, untakeable by the queen because of this bishop on c1. So the king, uh, we're, we're just going to look at the variation that the king uh, runs back, which I feel uh, at least uh, the, the people that I play against, most likely that's what they're going to end up doing. Um, so <clears throat> king to g8, um, and he was smart enough not to go here to h8 because he sees that this queen is ready to come up here. But to no avail. The queen comes up anyways. Um, now, white could, or black could try playing something like uh, pawn down, but that's not going to help because it still doesn't create uh, an escape square because of the knight here. So the only escape square that black can have is uh, this f8 square, which uh, currently the rook is on, so the rook has to move over. So now the rook moves over, and you might think, okay, so now queen uh, h7 check, king moves over, queen h8 check, uh, king moves down, and then bam, the king escaped. So um, before all of that happens, you first go with queen takes f7 check, moving the king over to h8, and then come back down to h5 check, he moves over to g8, h7 check, f, f8, h8 check, f, uh, what is that, e7, and then queen g7 mate. And so we have this nice mate here with the, with the queen, the pawn, and the knight. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I have some a couple other... Uh, variations of the Greek sacrifice, so maybe I'll put them up as well.